anti-slob anti-slob today uh, we got pro logic versus pro feelings that's right pro logic versus pro feelings and um i know how i do it get right into the video but before we start i see the sponsors original form you know this fits so well on me nice material feels so good y'all make sure y'all shop with them man i got the description to their link in the description box click on that link spend some money with them man you know it's a nice little short set material feels good nice and soft oh yeah man this is yeah this this is nice but uh without further ado um i'm gonna briefly touch on this uh roe versus wade i'm not a uh, pro-life i'm not pro-choice none of that i'm just pro-logic man you know i'm just gonna get y'all some facts you know i'm just here to report the facts you know what i'm saying so hey don't don't uh don't get all triggered and start screaming in my comment section so for one what i'm noticing is that uh you know a, a lot of you uh a lot of y'all don't even understand like the laws a lot of y'all don't understand what's going on uh you know y'all y'all really sound kind of uh just plain stupid right now you know basically um all that happened was is that uh, abortion is not uh, a federal right anymore abortion is going to be left up to states to decide if you can have an abortion or not and about 50 percent of the states are going to allow you to have an abortion still and then those states where you're not going to be able to have an uh, abortion you already have a bunch of corporations that are going to that are going to have provisions to help you to get an abortion so you know the fact that uh, i'm seeing all of this protest all of this screaming just all of this triggering stuff just lets me know that um, a lot of Americans don't even understand how the justice system works. They don't understand how the legal system works. And that's just kind of sad. You know, you live in a country and you don't even understand how the process works. You're just here existing and don't understand anything. You know, that just shows the willful ignorance of the society today. Uh, you know, you guys don't understand anything. You don't know anything. You know, you just hear just you know breathing and sucking up air and blowing out uh hot air out of your mouth so it just just shows just a lot of you guys just just idiots you know just uh the, the idiocy in people but uh back to the uh the topic at hand so uh you know basically um you know they have separation of church and state <clears throat> and uh what it's looking like to me from my opinion from my ob observation is that uh you know the separation of church and state have been so separate that the uh supreme court justices want to bring kind of more uh they want they want to close that gap because the separation of church and state has created an environment where um the morality and ethics have gone from our country and uh I just be honest, I mean, I looked at some numbers, and it's about, uh, about 80,000 or so abortions a year, and only a small fraction of those abortions came from um, um, R-A-P-E-D, and a small percentage of those abortions came from incest. So, that's the first thing that I see people say, you know, what about women that are getting R-A-P-E-D, and what about incest? And again, you're using a small extreme to prove your argument where in reality, um, a lot of abortions are being used as a form of birth control. Uh, it's just consensual sex between two uh, men and women. And uh, for whatever reason, the woman is deciding that she doesn't want to have uh, the child for whatever reason. And that's just a form of birth control to abort the baby. Now, whether that's right, whether that's wrong, uh, you know, that's really not uh, the topic today, but um, using uh, abortion as a form of birth control, we have many other forms of birth control is, uh, is, is irresponsible. You know, it's irresponsible with slob behavior, right? Sloppy, lazy, obese, bad behavior you can use other forms of birth control to prevent a pregnancy and the reason that we're talking about this is because this channel uh you know like i said the whole uh dynamic bad behavior you know i believe that if you're using um 
bir- uh, abortion as a form of birth control, that's bad behavior. And then with women having the sole control of who's born and who dies in this country, uh, you know, I think that's why the Supreme Court justices had to step in and say, hey, you know, we got to kind of uh, get put some parameters on this. Because if you look at it, um, birth rates are declining in this country. And a big uh, predicator of this is because, you know, it's just abortions are just getting, you know, out of control. You know, they're just getting they're just more and more and more. They're happening more and more. And again, um, you know, women aren't getting birth, aren't getting abortions because <clears throat> of extreme circumstances. Again, they're just using it as a form of birth, birth control. And I mean, that's just there's just the numbers say that. So, uh, you know, the federal government just saying we're stepping out of it. We're not uh, going to allow you to have a federally protected right of an abortion. You know, it's not. We're not doing that anymore. We're stepping out of it. And we're going to let the states decide if you can do this still. So I just know. I know, like uh, a lot of blue states, which is the Democratic states, they're still going to allow you to get abortion. So uh, you know, you women getting all upset, you screaming, you panicking. This is like for what? You're still going to be able, to, you know, to, to do what you do. So, you know, why are you even, uh, you know, getting so triggered? But I noticed that a lot of people just like to be triggered. They like to be emotional. They like to be screaming. You know, you, you guys like that stuff. You know, that's that's what, uh, you know, gets you going. So uh, I would just suggest that a lot of you guys, you know, wrap it up. Uh, you know, have protected sex, uh, safe sex. Uh, you know, vet the women uh, that you, uh, you know, you plan on having kids with. Because a lot of these women aren't even uh, worthy to have kids with. They're not even good mothers. So, you know, take your time and vet women properly. Uh, you know, don't be shooting up the club. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, be careful out here. And then, um, I want to say this too, though. Um, I, I definitely, me personally, I wouldn't want to... Uh, I wouldn't want to force a pregnancy on a woman, me personally, because um, if I got a woman pregnant and she didn't want to have that baby, but she had to have that baby, think about, uh, you know, what type of resentment would be for that child. You know, think about what type of horrible pregnancy would be for that, that child in that woman's womb and she didn't even want the baby to be there. You know, I wouldn't want that that child to go through that. You know, that seemed like that would be kind of like torture for that child. You know, children don't ask to be here. So, um, I mean, end of the day, I I think that all babies should be brought into the world with love. So, if a woman is feeling like she's forced to bring the baby into to this world, I don't think that's the best um, scenario for that child. And like I said, as a as a father, I wouldn't want that child to go through that because, uh, you know, I don't have any type of dominion over her body and, you know, to make sure that she's not, you know, smoking and drinking and eating right. You know, you can tell her and all of that stuff, but, you know, what a woman's going to do what she wants to do. You know, that's the type of climate, the type of country, the type of society that we live in now. They can do whatever the hell they want to do and there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. That's why I said you need to make sure you vet the woman uh, correctly that you are, uh, you know, you're laying down with have an unprotected sex with because you don't want to be in a situation where a woman feels like she's forced to do this. She doesn't really want to do this because, you know, she's just going to do some slob stuff, right? She's going to do some bad behavior because she's feeling like she's forced to do this. And that's not fair to that child, you know? And uh, if I had anything to do with it, that was half of my seed. I wouldn't want my child going through that at all. So uh, I guess, uh, you know, with all of that being said, um, you know, I'm uh, I'm pro-choice to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, I didn't really want this video to be about, you know, what's my position on that and the third. I just wanted to kind of just talk about what actually happened and, uh, you know, from a logical perspective. And, uh, you know, I think I pretty much explained that, that, you know, they're not outlawing abortions. They're just leaving it up to the state. So if you're in a state that is anti-abortion and you want to have abortions, guess what? Uh, you know, move to another state. Or if you work for one of these uh, top corporations, I know Tesla is, uh, you know, going to give you like a stipend, allowing you to travel and get that abortion. So, you know, I think Disney also jumped on board, some other other companies. So, 
I mean, they're gonna, uh, they're, they're, they're definitely gonna make provisions for women to get this operation done because guess what? A company is not gonna want you to be pregnant on their dime. That's gonna cost them more money for them to go through that process with you and pay for that. They rather you just go ahead and have an abortion and get your ass back to work and keep making them money. You know, so uh, I know, you know, they're trying to make it seem like, oh, they're just so caring and they no, they just care about their money in their pockets and they want your ass back in there to make them their money you know so uh i don't really think that it's gonna change a lot uh you know it is what it is um but you know just letting you guys know what's going on because like i said i know a lot of people just really don't know and a lot of people just want to be triggered and just want to be sad and be you know do the victim thing you know i get it i know i know but uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, b bottom line, you know, the main takeaway from this is just be careful and be mindful who you, uh, you know, have unprotected sex with, uh, you know, be careful and be mindful of who you're shooting the club up, whose club you're shooting up. And uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's like the main thing is, uh, you know, I don't think that it's fair to the child to be brought into the world, into a hateful world, into a resentful world. You know, kids don't have to be here. So, yeah, man, that was just, uh, this just want to touch on that real quick, man, you know, let y'all know what was going on, and just, you know, uh, just speak on it a little bit, because I know it's real big in the news right now, I've been seeing a lot of chatter, a lot of cackling going on about this, all along, just talking on social media, you know, I know it's just a lot of people just don't know what the hell they talking about, which I'm just starting to get used to, you know, a lot of y'all don't know what the fuck y'all be talking about, just be talking to be talking, and that's cool. But over here, you know, we talk with facts, you know, we talk with logic and we talk with reason. So I want to give y'all a little bit of taste of that. A little short video just on what I see and what's going on. But uh, I appreciate y'all. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And again, if y'all want to be fresh like me, <laughs> click that link and grab some of that original form company gear. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Anti slides, anti lazy, trying to be the best me that I can be. It's up to me. I'm taking all accountability. I just gotta keep going hard, 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 hard to get the win. To get the win. I get it again. No pain, no gain. This ain't just a diet plan. This a whole life change. It's a whole life choice. Listen to my voice. You can tell I ain't playing. I'm trying to be the best I can be. That's my goal. So I'm gonna go, go, go. Yeah, go, go, go. Anti slide. Anti slide. Anti slide. Anti slide. Anti slide.